As a rep, I have a lot of competing responsibilities. Therefore, Map My Customers was meant to make my life easier, whether I want to organize a call list or build a route to boost efficiency and get more stops in my day, therefore potentially creating the opportunity for an additional sale or an opportunity to push a conversation forward. I'm going to show you today how I would use Map My Customers on the road in order to make my day more efficient. I would simply go to Routes, bottom of the screen, and you see the Route tab is the third tab. I can create a route by clicking the blue Add Route button. I have a number of ways that I could add companies or people to my route in order to establish an organized way of visiting particular customers. I can filter by using the blue button on the top right hand corner by a particular group, by a certain postal code, by a certain city, uh, any of these different options I can filter so that way it only shows me the pins that are applicable from that filter. I can also search for a company by name in this magnifying glass on the top of the screen. If I know exactly who I want to build my anchor, uh, who I want to build the uh, route around if I have some anchor appointments. And you can see here I have full visibility into all of the different uh, customers that I particularly own in my territory or region. I can also simply click on the red circle that has the number inside of it. That just means that there's a concentration of 92 customers in a particular area. I'm going to click on the 15 in Denver, Colorado. And this is where I would like to focus my route. On the bottom left hand corner, you can see the lasso tool. I click OK. I know that I have a limit of 69 pins within a route. I'm going to allow the photos and media. And all I need to do is simply take my finger and draw a circle around these particular businesses or companies or people that I'd like to visit. I'm going to hit next on the top right hand corner. I'm going to click the target button to locate me where I stand. I can also enter a hotel. Uh, address here or a starting point here uh, at my discretion. I can name this route. I can optimize or put this route in a particular order. You are by no means married to any of these options. These are editable at any time. And I can also select a duration of time that I believe that I'll be at each stop. We do understand things change and that stops typically vary in duration. You can also change the start time. So if I know that this route is something that I'd like to build for myself, because I'll be in Denver next Tuesday on the 13th, and I'm going to start it at 8 a.m., I would simply just change the start time and I can click the proceed button on the bottom, the blue button, or I can click on build route on the top right hand corner. They both do the exact same thing. I've now successfully created my route. I can edit it here. I still haven't saved it and therefore it is still editable. I can hold stops down with my finger and move them around the screen if I want to change when the stop is going to happen in my day. I can also swipe to the left to delete a stop. I can also change the duration of time that I'm going to spend at each stop multiple options here. Top right hand corner, I'm going to build a route. And then I'm going to hit save on the top right hand corner in order to successfully save. I now successfully have built that route. The next video will show you how to run through that route and how to check in. I'm going to click on the route that I just created, test MMC, and it's going to show me all of the different stops. It is now Tuesday, October 13th, 8 a.m., and I'm ready to run my route. I can simply click on the routing button, which is this blue icon, top, uh, the, the icon that is pointing northeast. I can click on route. It's going to take me to my mapping app of choice. That could be Waze, could be Google Maps, could be Apple Maps. Currently, I'd like to just get directions but not log the activity because I haven't yet had the interaction to take notes. 
It's going to take me outside of that, my customers into my app of choice, and it's going to offer to route me there. Let's imagine that I completed the route and I finally arrived at my destination. I will exit out of my mapping tool and I will go back into map my customers. I'm going to click on the first stop, front range, since I've completed the interaction. So front range clinical lab is giving me the option to check in. It notices where I'm standing, that I am uh, around this particular business, and all I need to do in order to log an activity quickly is click check in. It confirms whether or not I'm at front range. I click, yes, I wanna take notes now. And then I simply go about electing what type of interaction I had. I had an in-person meeting. I see the blue check mark, I hit done. I can change the title. I mark it as complete. I write my notes. And then I can also associate this, this activity with a particular person. You can see that I already noticed the company that I was interacting with. And if this particular company had a person associated, I'd be able to select the person. I'm going to save the activity, which is on the bottom blue button. I'm now successfully logged that activity and can move on to the next stop in my route. I click the back button, the black arrow on the top left-hand corner, and now I'm ready to route myself to the University of Colorado. I hit that routing button, the blue arrow that's pointing northeast for my second stop. I get directions, and this time I'm going to get directions and log an activity because I know what the outcome is going to be already. I click on get directions and log activity. It takes me outside to my, my route. I have successfully arrived at the University of Colorado. I go back into Met My Customers and I click on the University of Colorado name, the second stop. And it will ask me to, uh, if I wanna check in. So I'm gonna click that check in button so I quickly give myself credit for that stop. It's asking if I uh, would like to take notes now. I would like to. And again, I can go ahead and change what I've actually uh, completed. So it's a product drop-off. It's done, I could change the title and mark it as complete. I put my notes. And again, I have the option to associate a person with this if I interacted with a particular individual and it already recognizes which company I've visited. I'm gonna go ahead and save the activity, which is the blue button on the bottom. I hit the blue, the black arrow on the top left-hand corner, chasing back to my route, and I continue down the route, finishing my day successfully, uh, giving myself credit for the stops that I'm making, and logging substantive notes so that way I'm able to remember what occurred. So the next time that I walk into the interaction, I know exactly how to be prepared, exactly what my outcome should be, and also uh, am fully aware of my next steps, therefore making my life easy.